What's going on, my friends? Today, we're playing Modded Skyrim. Um, I haven't had a chance to really record anything, and I don't really have any good ideas for a new series. I do have the DayZ going, but uh, I haven't really been feeling DayZ lately. Um, instead, I've been feeling Skyrim. <laughs> I used to play Skyrim on the Xbox um, back when it came out even got it for Christmas that day, like I was, or the, after it came out anyway, um, but until I had it for Christmas, I was playing my, one of my friend's, uh, game, I was borrowing it from him after he had, um, basically played it for all it was worth, um, so we're playing modded Skyrim, that's modded to fuck, I've got like a hundred and something mods installed, a hundred and fifty or so. Um, I've been playing it like nonstop. That's all I've been wanting to play lately. I have about eighty hours in it after about a week. So I figured, since I'm not recording anything else, I might as well record me playing some modded Skyrim. So that's basically what I'm doing. Now I have a ton of mods. The first you might notice is the animation. This is YY Mystic Knight uh, replacer is the one I have right now. I also have YY Zwyhander, the male version, installed. Um, the armor, the mask, is from the Black Mage armor. And the rest of the set is Ebon Steel Dragon Armor. Um, both of these mods can be found on the Nexus. The cloak is cloaks, Skyrim cloaks or something of that nature. Anyway, um, Mystic Knight, I really like a lot of the animations it has and adds. Um, most of them, at least. I don't like shields, how it does with shields. So, yeah. Um, there's a ton of other mods. Just to give you an example of some of them, mod configuration. Here's some of them, the ones that show up in mod configuration. Player voice sets I'm not really using because I couldn't find a good way to make it work. By the way, I am playing with a um, a controller. Uh, I like playing Skyrim with a controller as opposed to a mouse and keyboard. It's just one of those games that I feel is better with a controller. Um, so I am playing it with a controller. Um, for anyone that may be watching, uh, no, you cannot mod on consoles, or at least if you can, it's extremely complicated and probably not worth the effort. You might as well just buy a computer that can run Skyrim with mods efficiently. Buy Skyrim on Steam and go from there. Because doing it on console is not worthwhile. Alright, so... I have a lot of other mods besides these installed, um, and I may or may not post a full mod list in the description. Um, Climates of Tamriel is another one. I also have the uh, Hazardous Dungeon Lighting. Where's the fucking stair? Did I miss it? It's right there. Um, so yeah, there's all that. Um, right now, I am doing... Yeah, there's a ton of fucking quests that I have. Right now, I'm finding the source of power in Silver Drift. Um, another mod that might be a little bit controversial um, as far as playing the game the way it should be played is Unlimited Shouts. I feel the game, the Dragonborn and the vanilla game, is ex severely underpowered for what he is hyped up to be. So I feel Unlimited Shouts gives him the power that he should have had. Now, as long as you don't completely abuse and spam shouts, I do that every now and then just for shits and giggles, um, then I feel it's all right. Um, I also have Invested Magic. I have Apocalypse, and I had a lot more spells, but I recently completely redid my modded mod setup. 
um, and it basically like got rid of all my apocalypse and Mita's magic spells. So I'm gonna have to go and rebuy all of those. There's also the Overlord armor and boss or whatever spells that I had that are gone as well too. Basically anything that's not a vanilla spell is gone except in limited shots because it just gives you that. Amazing follower tweaks, you can tell. Better vampires. Um, better vampires might, like if you're a chick and you go vampire, it might show titties. I don't know. I'm just going to hope that's not the case if I record me doing Dawn Guard. So that won't be any fun. Um, yeah. You can also... Oh, auto-saving. Um, yeah. D Ebon Steel Stout... Dragon, St Dragon Bone Ebon Steel Stout Helmet. And, yeah. Technically, Daedric Armor is slightly better. But I just love the look of this. And it's only better by, like, a couple points. So I prefer to use the Dragon Bone cloak this is the first cloak i've found i haven't had this these other these extra mods installed very long um ring of heresine i am a werewolf on this playthrough just to show you that beast form i also have a mod beast within that my beast blood gives me enhanced abilities basically i do about eight percent extra damage with melee and i get a ten percent uh ten bonus points to health and stamina Oh yeah, that's from a quest. I'm, that's a, from a vanilla quest, in fact. Um, I have a character creation overhaul. Invest in magic, like I said, so these spells, like those, armor, and are basically, essentially, toggable. So, yeah, anyway. Um, this is the way I came from. Now, I don't like the running animation for Mystic Knight. Uh, the sprinting animation, at least. Oh, Ow. Okay, I thought I had that got that unlocked. I suppose I didn't. We're going to be in this cave for a while, I'm letting you know, because I'm a little bit stuck. Um, now, I realize in some of my other game, or my uh, bleh, other videos recently, that the sound has been extremely low, and that was because of the headset I was using at the time. Uh, the headset, like, it made everything a lot louder than it needed to be. And basically that led to me turning my volume down to a ridiculous level. Um, I could still hear the volumes fine, but in my videos they would the sounds would not show up. So I have remedied that by basically just getting a new headset. Uh, not buying a new one, but using one I had. The one I was using for recording and such uh, previously. Iron Greatsword, Elven Shield... Oh, yeah, I'm also rich as fuck on this playthrough so far. There hasn't been much that I've needed to buy. Most of the stuff that I need or wanted, I just made myself. Um, huh. Here we go. I think so, anyway. No. No, not at all. Well, what the shit? There's got to be some switch or something in here somewhere. Is this it? Please tell me this is it. I think that was it. Let's hope it was it. But yeah, with these animation replacers, I just love being in third person now. Like, I love these animations so much better. Again, wrong way. Way to go, dumbass. No, it's still... F son of a... You're not going to get me again with that. I really, for video making purposes, I really probably should not have uh, the Climates of Tamriel patch that makes dungeons and everything darker i may change that since someone might be recording it i just like that it gives torches and is it on here is it is the switch on here no it is not well where the fuck 
Okay, I'm seriously lost. I seriously have no fucking idea where the fucking switch is. Um, oh, is it over here? No, this is the door I just fucking came through. Well, what the shit? You guys are probably screaming at me. I remember this dungeon, and I like playing it on the Xbox, and I remember going through it, and... Oh, fuck, another torch ran out. And I remember doing this, this uh, dungeon, but I don't remember where that switch is. Uh... Or am I supposed to get up there somehow? Huh. I'm gonna try backtracking a little bit, unless. Nope, oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh, no, that didn't seem to help me in, in any way. Oh, I didn't notice her. See how a gray cloak w looks. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, I'll decide once I'm outside in the light. Yeah, I think I may go back, uninstall Climates of Tamriel, reinstall it without those two patches, and I may have to clean it up with the Elder Scrolls V edit again. Um, I've had to do that twice for, to get these mods working. Like, you got, getting all these mods to work together was ridiculous. It was probably one of the most... Here's another doorway. F fuck. Oh, it's barred from the other side. Okay. Um, another bandit. Did I search him? I think I did. I think he had some gold on him. Uh, seriously, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I still have Apache hair. Um, I should probably show that off a little bit. Helmet. Take the black mage mask off as well. As you can see, I also have pretty faces for males. Because the vanilla faces just made me want to puke. But yeah, I actually didn't have to do this. I could have gone on my favorites menu to re-equip those, but, you know, whatever. And to unequip them, too. I'm so inefficient. Oh yeah, Sky UI, obviously. So you need SKSE if you want to run these mods. Um, I don't expect to get many views on this, because I don't have many subscribers. But, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> I keep forgetting about it. Uh, are you fucking serious? Fucking hell! God, I'm so dumb. Oh, God, I feel seriously so fucking stupid. I just ran around that dungeon for, like, ten minutes wondering where the fucking switch was, and it was right in front of my fucking face the whole time. Jesus Christ. What do you have on you? You got nothing. Uh, and common soldier. Yeah, take all those. Oh, well, shit. There we go. Nothing in there, but lockpicking experience is... So... Fucking shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, Almost dodged it. Almost. I also have enhanced blood. Or I have some blood mod, or I think... I think I do. Nope! Um. Ooh. Oh yeah, I also have Dance of Death, Dawn Guard Edition. All right. Uh, it minimized to the desktop, and as you can see, I now have the mouse in the middle of my screen. How lovely. The joys of Skyrim modding. Um, that's probably really going to piss you guys off. Um, I personally don't mind it much, but I'm going to stop recording for a second here and try to see if I can get rid of that without restarting Skyrim. I'll restart Skyrim if I have to, but I can usually get rid of it without restarting Skyrim. Just give me a moment. 
All right, I'm back, and unfortunately, um, I didn't even get a chance to really try to fix it, because as soon as I stopped recording, the game crashed. So, we're just going to continue, um, and it'll probably be an autosave somewhere inside that dungeon. I have no idea where. But we're gonna see, and I can run through it a lot faster now that I know where that fucking switch is. Um... My load screens are a little bit long for some reason. Um, before I added a ton of new mods, I just had the mods that I was using originally on this save. Um, the load screens were extremely fast. Um, okay, so this is about where we're at. Before I took the cloak off this chick. So I'll take that. And now I know where the switch is, so you guys don't have to face palm over it anymore than you already have. And I remembered it that time. Look around that one. There we go. Oh boy, shouting. Yay. Take all that. What the hell? Where... Where is the sweet spot? Oh, it's right. There we go. Got it. Did you have anything on you? Again, no. Oh, it almost got me again. I forgot about it again. Son of a bitch. All right. bow before me. Alright, what do you have? Ebony War Axe, I'll take that. I just like being in third person with these uh, animation replacers. Nordic Sword? I don't know exactly what mod that is from, but I actually ended up using the whole Nordic set when I noticed it. I have no idea what mod it is from, though. <laughs> I seriously do not. <clears throat> um nope I hear enemies oh well that was anticlimactic dwarven armor not worth the wait uh, there's a book, pickpocket. Oh, I also have better skill books and better quest books, so I'll know just by looking at a book that it's a quest or skill book. Um, oh, I also have a killer Kios, skimpy armor mods or whatever. It doesn't make the armor sets slutty per se, but it does make them a little skimpier, and I kind of like it, not because I'm a pervert. Although I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just like it because it adds a little more vi When most games have like differences between male and female armors, this game really kind of doesn't. Ah, you fucker. Uh, I also have Realistic Ragdoll. There's another mod to add to the list. I also have Enhanced uh, Towns and Cities. Oh, oh, Serpentine. Can't hit this. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, copyright. Nope. Can't do that. Sometimes my shouts won't work, and I gotta block first. No, you don't, sir. Uh. All right, you're dead. Ebony arrows. I'll take all of that. I like Horde uh, smithing materials. I have a, a, one of my safes back at my hearth firehouse, Lakeside Manor, or Lakeview Manor, one of the two. I don't know which one it is. It's, it's called. 
There's an unnamed dragon priest. Oh, and a Draugr Death Lord is gonna Fusrodami. Ow, and he just shot an arrow into my wrist. You f Oh, fuck! He's fucking me up! God damn. Uh. Let's see. You'll, you're about to see the uh, Zweihander animation replacement. Uh, disarm, Dismay, Dragon Ren, Drain Vitality. Oh, fucking shit, there's traps. Ultimate healing. I don't like using those, but... I don't have much of a choice. I don't think this... I think this dragon piece priest is bugged out. Yeah, I think it's bugged out. Oh, now it's fine. Holy fuck, it hurts. Oh, God. Just to be safe, I'm gonna drink a potion. And another, for good measure. I can actually check my health by doing this. Alright, I'm at full. What am I after that hit? Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Where's Mr. Dragon Priest? Nope, nope, stop. Oh, you fucker. Oh my god, his bow. His bow is what hurts. Alright, I can't... Oh god. <laughs> Fuck you and your bow. Ah. I hate when I miss a block, and I keep missing them. Damn it. There. Bastard. Ah. Uh. Alright, where's the dragon priest? Did I kill him? I don't think I did. Oh, God. What is... Oh, that's because I looked at the thing. Oh, I did kill him. Clo... Oh. That seems nice. Oh, God. Don't look at it. Okay, now we're going to look at it. Oh, God. It's... Why is it so dark? Oh, another disarm one. Find the source of power. I also have the unofficial patches, by the way. That's another one. Let's see how many dragon souls do I have? I have one. I have one. Alrighty. Speaking of dragon souls, I have, um... I have the, um... Spin dragon souls for perks. The Dragon Stones, north of Riverwood. Uh, it's on the Steam Workshop. I am using a mix of Steam and um, Nexus mods. So if you want to copy my game, I may make a tutorial on how to do that. Although there's dozens of them out there. I just need should ha All I should have to do is give you my mod list. Um, but if it's requested, I may do a tutorial. Um, I may not, though, because it took me a long time to figure it out myself. How much was that enchanted weapon? What was that value? Oh, no, that's not worth the wait. All right. Another door that needs a switch. My greatest weakness. Mm hmm. Huh. There goes my phone.
Oh, right there. Fucking hell, I'm blind. At least it didn't take me an hour that time like it did last time. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, I'm going to finish up this dungeon here, which I'm about to do pretty much now. And then that'll be it for this episode. Uh, yep, this is back to the start of the dungeon. Did I loot you? Yeah, I think I did. Iron helmet. Alright, but before I do go, I do want to show you guys my character with the light and the cloaks and the patchy hair and all that other stuff. All right, we're outside. Oh, now that we're outside, I'm not sure how I feel about that cloak. Yeah, I don't really like that cloak now that I'm outside and I can see it better. Um, cloak. Where's the other cloaks? Oh, I thought there was a, okay, yeah, there is a gray one. I don't know, it's snowy. I have wet and cold installed, so you can't really tell the difference much. But yeah, you can see how awesome this armor set looks. Um, I really like the Ebon Steel Dragon Armor. There's tons of various helmets you can use as well. You can basically have a retextured, remeshed uh, versions of Iron Helmet, all that stuff. Um, it's really awesome mod, so you guys should head over to the Nexus and give that dude some support. I don't remember the dude's name. Um, I'm not like friends with him or anything, but I really love his mod here. Okay, so if I, I don't know why I went there to do that. If I take off that stuff, you can see this is an Apache sky hair color, or not color, um, style, along with uh, better male faces. Uh, black mage mask and the helmet which i think look amazing i also have convenient horses so i can have dragon bone horse armor on my horse here so yeah that's really yeah <laughs> um if a mod list is requested for all the mods that i have installed i will give them i'll just give a uh, copy of the folder from my or I'll just copy the notepad from my thingamabobber from my local, my app data local folder. Huh. There's a glitch that I have found. Yeah, that sound is glitched out. Yeah, that sounds glitched out. Um, yeah, I, th I have Sounds of Skyrim, various versions of those installed. I think I'm going to uninstall those, along with the Climates of Tamriel uh, lighting changes. Um, I think those are what I'm going to do. And Because, yeah, this is going to... I, I won't be able to play with this. this will, my OCD will kick in too much. And yeah, but anyway, for now, let's just do a save game, and should be good for now. I will see you guys later.